Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we're diving into phase two of the incentive testnet. We missed phase one, and the incentive testnet is a layer one built with simplicity and scalability in mind. It's where every action counts. So we will dive into what phase one was and how to participate in phase two. And yeah, before we get started, thank you so much for joining. Please like, subscribe, comment, share this out to anyone you think would be interested in blockchain technology, all the fun stuff we get to learn, and cool rewards we earn along the way. Now, these incentivized test nets are great to participate in because it's free and easy and all you got to do is spend a little time and effort uh if you do need any help please reach out i have a discord link is down below down below uh there's a welcome section you'll be uh, you'll be asked a few questions when you answer those go to the rules and guidelines you'll click the thumbs up and have access to all these wonderful channels so many full of the latest alpha and also follow me on X, the BCR142. And I co-host a show called DeFi Crypto and Airdrops with Veteran Crypto, Veteran 4 Crypto. So check us out Monday and Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. So join us. I also We also stream live on X. So yeah, check us out on the Twitter X. But let's dive in. So week one. Experience a layer one built with simplicity and scalability in mind. Features enabling various on-chain actions using Scent, their token, be rolled out in short phases. So in phase one, use your existing wallet or create a new one. Sign in with passkey, biometrics, or supported wallets. Hit the faucet to claim your first 100 Scent tokens. And then in phase two, perform swaps, send tokens, add contacts, and more. So the faucet gives you 100 Scent every four hours. You can use them to explore, test, and complete on-chain tasks that go live soon. So this starts phase two, the incentive testnet send, receive, add contacts. So if you're still behind, you can go to testnet.incentive.net. And this is a little bit more the incentive.net website. But here on the main testnet page, it asks you, welcome to the incentive testnet. Are you familiar with Web3? Yes. And if not, if not, go back. I'm just getting started. We can do this first. So what is a wallet? You can kind of go through that, but create my first wallet. Test one. And it looks like you'll need to do a captcha or pin. Actually, I don't want to, I don't want to do this if, okay, web three, I'm just going to go with this and, oh no, come on. Cause I want to, I don't want to mess it up. If um, I'll create a new wallet, okay? I don't wanna share anything. I just wanna make sure I'm not sharing anything. It says biometric, I'm gonna click verify my ID. And okay, so this is my password manager. So I have a password manager that I use and I am going to save my passkey. Sometimes it'll ask you on the browser to save a passkey or a pin or a pin code. Okay. Yeah, if I did that any other way, it wouldn't saved it. So, let me also I think you can do this with your wallet too. Yeah. So sign in. Okay, okay. You might might be able to add your wallet. Let's see. My contact. Okay, let me log out again cuz I want to I want to do this with my wallet too. I want to check this out okay so you have to register so you can do it with a wallet create a new account getting started create my first wallet test one Save pass key as new login interesting so my test one is in there so this let me see if this works weird I don't know. Oh, this that's weird. Okay, so it's saved on two of my, it saved it twice. That's weird. So it wouldn't let me do it with my wallet. That's what I was kind of worried about. Actually, you know what? I am going to do this with with my uh, other wallet and, and we'll we'll check this together. We'll do it two different ways. All right, I'm just getting started. Create my first wallet so everyone knows. All right, verify my ID. That's not allowing me to do that. 
okay, well, Web3 is my thing. I'll use my existing wallet. So that's kind of frustrating. Not really working on the other one, but you can use your Web3 wallet. There you go. So log out of there and go back here. So now that we're here, we'll just go ahead and get testnet tokens. And you're about to get free testnet tokens. You got to do the human verification, get your tokens, and how fast will we get them? So this is the home base. There we go. We created our wallet, got testnet tokens. Okay, okay. So I don't see the swap right here. Test one. Damn. Let me log out of here and I wonder why it's not doing the other one that I created. Oh, well, we'll just go ahead and use this one for now. <clears throat> so I don't know why. Oh, it goes live this week. That's nice. Well, there you go. I'm a silly goose, but we are ahead of the game. So that's good. So we've got our testnet tokens. Now remember, every four hours, it will dispense new ones. And yeah, thankfully, it hasn't gone live yet. So we'll keep you uh, ahead as much as we can. It's been a crazy, crazy time, but I appreciate you all for still sticking around and catching these lives too. But yeah, that's really about it for now. Stay tuned for phase two going live this week. So get excited for the incentive network. But if you have any questions, comments, need any help, please jump in the Discord. Catch me on X. Link is down below. And with that, this is the Blockchain Report. Have a wonderful day, homie. Peace out.